Hi everyone, in this video, we will give an introduction to the Sabre model, one of the most popular stochastic volatility models widely used by practitioners. In the Black-Scholes model, the asset price follows a geometric Brownian motion, the implied volatility is assumed to be constant. In practice, we see that the volatility changes with time. And we see that the volatility clusters. Large movements are in general followed by large movements, while small movements tend to be followed by small ones. Negative stock returns tend to be associated with higher volatility, and we observe a negative correlation between stock returns and volatility changes in general. There are two main explanations for this in the literature. On the one hand, when a stock goes down, the leverage of the company increases, making its equity more volatile. This is the so-called leverage effect. On the other hand, persistent high volatility can cause stock prices to drop with the selling of risky assets and flight to safety by risk-averse asset managers. Patrick Hagan et al. developed the Sabre model to model the dynamic of forward prices. The forward price can be a forward swap rate, a FX forward, or a forward stock price depending on the market we consider. It is a popular method to model the implied volatility curve widely used by practitioners, particularly on the interest rates derivatives market. Sabre is for stochastic alpha beta rho. It assumes that the forward price has the following dynamic. Both the forward rate F and its variance alpha are stochastic. And the two Brownian motions W1 and W2 are assumed to be correlated. The Saber model has four parameters. Alpha zero is the initial variance, beta is the exponent, nu is the volatility of the variance, while rho is the correlation between the two Brownian motions. Similarly to the constant elasticity of variance CEV local volatility model, there is a power term in the asset price, but we assume here that the volatility is stochastic as well. There is no closed form solution for the pricing of options under the Saber model, except in the special cases where beta equals zero or one. But there is a good asymptotic estimation when t times the square of nu is small, which is often the case in practice. This is one of the reasons explaining why the model is popular. We find the Black-Scholes formula with an expression of the implied volatility as a function of the strike price k, the forward price F, and the four Sabre parameters. When K equal F and the option is at the money, the expression simplifies. You will find the derivation of this asymptotic estimation in the reference paper from Hagan et al. if you are interested in the bats. With its four parameters, the model allows to build many shapes of volatility curve. The initial variance parameter alpha zero controls the volatility level. New, the volatility of the variance controls the cortosis of the implied distribution, the tail risk on both sides. It impacts the volatility smile, which flattens when new decreases. The correlation parameter rho controls the volatility skew, the slope of the volatility curve around the money. When rho is negative, meaning a negative spot vol correlation, it increases the risk on the downside and decreases the risk on the upside with higher probability to have negative returns and lower probability to have positive ones. This traduces into higher implied volatilities on the left side and lower implied volatilities on the right side, creating a negative implied volatility skew. Beta impacts the volatility level and the volatility skew as well. In practice, the beta parameter is often fixed to improve the stability when calibrating parameters. In the Sabre model, the at the money implied volatility, when k equals f, has approximately this expression. It is the so-called backbone, the curve followed by the at the money volatility as a function of the forward price. When beta is strictly below 1, the at the money volatility decreases when the forward price increases. It tends to be similar to what is observed on the equity market, which is important for hedging purposes. This relationship between the at the money volatility and the forward price is controlled by the exponent parameter beta. In the next video, we will estimate the risk neutral density function in the Sabre model 
and we will see how the different parameters impact the moments of the distribution. Thank you for your time.